Hi everyone, welcome to the SMT TV channel. Okay, please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell on the right side to get a notification as and when I have the latest video. Show me some love, please like, subscribe and click the bell video. See you inside the channel. So the third one is really about adjusting your stop, okay? Adjusting your stop loss, okay? So sometimes even you put your stop loss and, and you, you see the entry price over here and as the price goes down near to your stop loss, sometimes I will be tempted to actually uh, move the stop loss further down, okay? So um, this in my view is a, is a 50-50. Sometimes I will hit the stop loss and then I will adjust the stop loss and it'll be right and after that the price go up higher. But sometimes when I adjust the stop loss, then what happens is my loss become uh, too big also. So I, um, the thing to avoid is really to know uh, when you adjust your stop, what is the reason you adjust your stop uh, and also uh, is there a valid reason? Is it uh, something that you don't want to uh, be wrong? That's why you adjust a stop or is it because you look at the certain part, certain way of looking at the market and feel that hey, this is a, maybe a right thing to do to adjust your stop. Okay, So I will say that adjusting your stop is not really um, bad okay but it's really uh, learning from experience when to adjust the stop and when uh, not to do not to adjust your your stop loss okay and the last one i want to share with you all is really about uh, your target price okay sometimes uh, target price too far too too far so what happened is when i enter a trade over here and uh, i put a stop loss over here and then I put a target, let's say over here. So this is my target price. And this is my stop loss entry price. And uh, this is my stop loss price. So sometimes the price will go, go up in my favor. Okay, go up in my favor. But because the target price is so far, okay, it will not reach to the target price. But then after that, it will go back and then hit my stop loss again. Okay, so how to avoid this is really to put in trailing stops. So let's say example, when you are already, the stock is already in your favor, okay, uh, your stop loss, which is the initial stock can be here. You can actually shift up your stock to maybe your entry price, or maybe later part to shift it up further as a, tra as a trailing stop, so that if the, in the event, if the price goes down, you can still be on profit, okay? So these are the mistakes that I made as some of the possible remedy of uh, how to avoid this mistake. At the end of the day, um, I will say that you will con we will continue to act, actually make mistakes but we'll continue to uh, learn from it. At the end of the day, there is no uh, one way to trade, there's no 100% way to trade. It's all about risk reward, it's all about putting your money at risk to make a profit. Okay, uh, It's having a sound uh, strategy, a sound system. It's not really not about uh, being right or waste. Okay, so at the end of the day, is uh, you what you want to do is over time. If you have a sound strategy and you put in your correct stops over time, you want to be profitable. That is the most important. It's not about making uh, home runs or it's not about making uh, uh, big money in one single trade. Okay, I think that's a very important thing to know about trading. Okay, if not, then thank you very much. See you at the next video. So, if you don't want to miss another one of our trading videos, remember to ring that bell.